A year ago with Wrecker coming through with 25 points. Leslie and Pierce, the other starting guards. Reggie Evans yesterday, 19 points, a career high, equaling 18 rebounds. And that also tied the tournament record he set a year ago. Sondelider gets another start at center. Boy, but it was a very welcome sight for Hawkeye fans that have suffered through a frustrating stretch after 12 and 3 start. Team in the top 10 tumbled all the way out of the rankings by losing 11 to 15. Yesterday, seemingly from nowhere, they remembered how they played a year ago. Marcel McDonald and Rhoda Heffer are the officials who were underway in the second quarter final of the Big Ten tournament. And Kirk Penny controls for the Badgers and drives right in. You got to understand with Kirk Penny, he is just a junior, but very experienced. Was on the New Zealand Olympic team. So he's had a lot of basketball experience, even though he is just a junior. Took advantage of a stop and go on that play. This is Pierre Pierce. Freshman point guard out of Westland, Illinois. Inside, they feed Evans. And a wrestling match for the loose ball ends up in the hands of Devin Harris, who has to call timeout to make sure Iowa didn't steal it back. You know, you, that, I think Coach Bo is trying to figure out exactly what happened on that. But watch Kirk Penny. He sets up right there. Pierce falls for it. Before Sunderlighter can get there, Kirk Penny got to the hoop. The other thing you have to remember, as you take a look at the season recap of Iowa, is that Luke Wrecker really starting to show up. So I'm interested to see how Wrecker and Penny balance it off. The two teams split during the course of the regular season, winning at home. Look at that bottom line. Before that game, we asked Steve Alford what about Wisconsin jumped out at him. And uh, he had kind of an odd answer. I've never heard another coach talk about the thing that worried him most being the fact that Wisconsin does not foul very much on defense, and they make you foul so often. And it turned out he was a prophet because that really is what cost him that game and that's the free throw difference. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, that is also a premise that I know at least Mike Krzyzewski tries to talk about at Duke to make sure that you force them to foul and don't foul, play without foul. Mater, a nice job saving the offensive rebound. Delay drive by Penning. Outside for a Charlie Wills three-pointer. Well, Wills can knock down shots, but how about Penny patient enough to set it up? That's what Iowa's going to have to deal with. This is a lot more patient team than they played in Michigan yesterday. Iowa down 5 nothing. Luke Recker, 9 of 10 from the field yesterday. Evans has had a crowd around him both touches. I think the, the defense, and, and this is one that should be, makes somebody else beat you other than Evans. Air ball out of bounds by Leslie. Take a look here. Penny goes to drive three Hawkeyes around him. Charlie Wood is wide open. Makes him pay. 7 3 of the year for Will. Sondelider comes up with the steal for Iowa. No, oh, this, uh, this has got to be Wisconsin's ball. Pierre Pierce hounded into the turnover in the backboard by Devin Harris. Harris, one of six Wisconsin freshmen, led the Big Ten in minutes played by a freshman. Started every game and their second leading score. And plays with a lot of confidence, too. Man. A lot of confidence. Three-pointer. Look at that arm. Is that a, it right through. Is that enough confidence? Yep. Just like he, like he belongs on the floor. Freshman going on senior. Eight. Nothing. Sorry for the Badgers. And Harris has got, he's got the defensive assignment of Luke Rector. Sunderlighter guarded by Wills. Into the corner, Rector, who missed only once yesterday. He's up short with his first try today. A well-rested Badger team. They played only once in the last 17 days. That's out of bounds, and it still belongs to Wisconsin. Steve Alford saw his team shoot 57% against the Boilermakers yesterday. Out-rebound Purdue 41-28. Outscore him in the paint 44-20. 
18 to 8. Second chance points. Just about any way you can analyze it, they dominated. But right now, being dominated in the first three minutes of this one. And a foul on Kirk Petting, first of the game. And when you're new in a situation, sometimes you're a little timid. But if you just know you can do it, then you just go out and do that. And that's what Devin Harris does. He shoots a teardrop from the three point line. Very confident. In the last meeting, he had 20 points. He hit four threes. On the line, Chauncey Leslie, junior college transfer out of Indian Hills, J.C. in Rochester, New York. And the Hawkeyes finally on the board. Show a little token pressure. Over the first three from the field. Harrison Wills each have threes. And he started the game with a driving layup for the Badgers. Well, straight on three, barely getting Iron Penny. Yeah, he, he didn't get himself set, but he, he got open, got a really good look. If Wisconsin has got Evans out making him a passer, they've done what they wanted to do. Evans has got to get on the block. Luke Wecker's got to get open. Leslie started in, now Wrecker. Guarded by the freshman Harris. Pierce, and able to take advantage of his height advantage against the 5'10 Davis. Davis, 5'10, listed, maybe 5'7. Yeah, I would say at best he's 5'7. I mean, but he is a muscular build. Try to go back toward a penning and off him out of bounds. Badgers close with a six game winning streak. Iowa was the second victim in that streak. The last time they closed with six straight wins, they won the national championship. 1941, they closed, in fact, with a 12-game winning streak that year. That was only the third year the NCAA crowned the national basketball team. Knocked off Washington State. Sondelider pulls up, gets his own rebound, easy follow. Well, so Sunderlighter's coming to play a little bit like he did yesterday, except the first play he made was a drive to the basket. He's going to have to be effective because with Bader's size, Evans is going to have a tough job getting over the top. Again, they try to get Penny down low, guarded by Wrecker, outside, three-pointer, missed by Davis. And here come the Hawkeyes, Pierre Pierce. Alone is Wrecker missed the three, and already he's missed more than he did all yesterday. He's got to stay confident, though. He's got to take that shot, or he really takes the win out of the sales of, sales of his teammates. But boy, that's a wide open look. That's something Wisconsin can't give up. 6 11 sophomore Dave Mater out of Appleton. Wills, one of two seniors. Davis is the other. Eight to shoot. Mater. Knocked away. Goes right to Wills. Doesn't see the shot clock, though. And just in time, he hoists one up an air ball. Shot clock violation. He didn't see the clock until you basically mentioned it. You didn't mention it to him, but it was not in time to get the Wisconsin to get the ball up. Solid defense by Iowa. Long day. He's got two more games before his fighting Illini will take the court against Minnesota. Yesterday, Iowa 87-72 over Purdue. Wrecker inside and out, 9 out of 10. Evans tied the tournament record and his career best, 18 rebounds. And those two seniors played the game they've been searching for literally for months. Yeah, they just wore Purdue out on both sides. I mean, Evans was just on the glass tremendously at 18. Luke Wrecker knocking down shots, missing, missing just one field goal. Wrecker tries an alley -oop. How about this? It's a 5-5, Trevon Davis, and he gets a hell ball. Now he's 5-5. He's losing height every minute. <laughs> Y'all have him at five feet in a second. Give me a second. I get him somewhere and there he'll be. But just, he did a great job because the lob was there, and he, have, he closed on it so quickly. The tie goes to Iowa, and the traveling violation goes to Evans. Let me look at the lob. Pierce at about 6-2, 5-5. You see right there, Davis comes down with it simultaneously. 
That's why it's a hill ball. Mike Wilkinson, redshirt freshman, blew down Wisconsin off the bench. Not a terribly deep bench for Bo Ryan. He may only play seven all day. Into the paint goes Ravon Davis. Rebound foul, Wisconsin. That time, I think Evans was able to get in position to take a charge against Davis. Take a look to see Evans is there, clearly set. Not a nudge, not enough anyway. Foul call against Davis. The ear pierce. In an effort to get somebody on the post, Iowa's brought in Worley to try to get Evans and Worley to go high-low. Really played very well yesterday. Offensive foul on Chauncey Leslie. Davis takes the charge. His first. And I was first. We're stuck on 8-3 is Brody Boyd. Comes in for the first time. Maybe he'll open it up with his tremendous shooting. He is capable. Better than 42% on his three-pointers this year. In uh, two minutes since anybody scored. So, eight three badgers. Four minutes since the last point. Evans pulls that one down. Pierce driving on Kirk Penny. Rebound, the easy putback. Worley. Body's going everywhere. Worley got his hands on it. They want to see him get active. That, I think that's what they've got to do. When the Hawkeyes are very effective, it's when, like most teams, they can go inside out. If they don't, then that, that takes away from Luke Record's effectiveness. Record getting into the passing lane. Steals that one from Davis. And the bounce to end the fast break with a Brody Boyd miss. How about that? Record could have gone to the basket because he's only got Trevon Davis there. Davis yeah, get out there. setting up Kirk Penny with a three. Yeah, yeah. Kirk Penny can fight out two threes. Although not very well against Iowa this year. One out of eight for Petty. Threes in the first two games. 57th three-pointer of the year. Right there. Breaks five minutes and ten seconds. They're dropping between baskets. 11-5 Badgers. Worley cut off by Wills. Up high it goes to Evans. And the smallest man on the floor comes away with it, Davis. He averages about four rebounds a game. He can get to his glass now. And then he got three. Somehow. We like the fact that he'll stick his nose in there. Oh, nice move. Wilkinson didn't finish it. Blocked by Evans. And Wrecker first hand up the floor. Draws a blocking foul on Freddie Owens, 6'2", sophomore from Milwaukee, in for the first time. Well, Trevon Davis is not scored, but he's dominating the glass at 5'2", or whatever he is. 11-5, Wisconsin. Championship week presented by 7-Up. Quarterfinal number two of the Big Ten Tournament in Indianapolis. Top-seeded Wisconsin, ninth-seeded Iowa. An 11-5 lead early for the Badgers, who have held the Hawkeyes to two out of 11 shooting. Indiana eliminated Michigan State in our first quarterfinal today. Ohio State and Michigan, Illinois and Minnesota in the nighttime session here at Conseco Fieldhouse. Jam for the Indiana game, and most folks have stuck around for this one. In the end, we'll play the winner of this game tomorrow in the semis. And if Iowa doesn't get involved in the game pretty quickly, they'll eliminate themselves. They, they just turn that one over on an out-of-bounds play with no real pressure. And whatever carryover adrenaline they might have had from yesterday has not been any kind of factor. Wills on the reverse, up eight. I, I tell you what the difference is. I'm looking at this game and picturing yesterday's game, you can see if Iowa makes a mistake, Wisconsin reads it and can take advantage of it. They not only see where the opportunity is, but they seize it. Mike Wilkinson to the foul. Colin Wilkinson, his first, the Owens pass a moment ago. Well, watch Owens. There's a double team with Worley. Well, somebody's open. Wills goes to the other side. Worley tries to come back and get the block. Can't get there in time. Ryan Hogan in for the first time for the Hawkeyes. He led the Big Ten in three-point percentage over the course of the entire season at 50%. Uh, 
And Evans turns inside, gets his first bucket. Wilkerson gambles for the steal, and if you don't get it, a man that close can get the layup. The season where Wisconsin ended streaks that have gone back over half a century, traveling on third pin. Now watch Wilkerson. See, he comes over on the high side, and once you do that, you left the baseline exposed, taking, uh, giving Reggie Evans a chance to take advantage of it. First title in 55 years, 11 wins in conference play for only the second time since the national title in 1941. Glenn Worley wore off the bench yesterday in just 13 minutes, had nine points, five rebounds. Like Wrecker, like Evans, found what he's been looking for. Really a level he has not achieved since the tournament last year. Three-pointer, Penny his second. Three you can see Penny has the green light. They trust there'll be good results if he touches the ball. When he's off the bus, the light is on. The light is on. And it's never red. In and out by a boy. Touch last. No, that's got to go to Iowa. I mean, against Iowa. Because that went off Orland. Penny. Get to him, get to him fast, know where he is. To see his range and confidence, three-pointer wide open, he takes advantage. Four out of six threes for the Badgers. Penny taking his first rest, the only returning starter from last year. Bo Ryan has a completely reconstruct the roster. They uh, have only eight scholarship players on this team, and that counts in a three-point opportunity for Wilkinson. Let me tell you, for a guy 6'8", this is a pretty good move, college move. He catches the ball and makes the decision. Watch him on the baseline. Gets Worley out of position, goes up, and is moving away. That's why the foul is called, I do believe, against Hogan, because Hogan is moving into him and able to pull up and get it down. Mike Wilkinson, second leading freshman rebounder in the Big Ten. No three-point play. 18 to 9, Badgers by 9. Eight scholarship players. Five had never played more than 13 minutes in a game before this year. And uh, from that bear cover, Bo Ryan has put together the top seed in the tournament because he's done it before, winning his coach in Division Three history. At Wisconsin Platteville, four national titles in his 15 years there. Now he's done an outstanding job wherever he's been. In the 90s, won 91% of his games. That's the top percentage in all divisions of college basketball. Two on the shot clock as Worley drives into contact. And draws another foul on Wilkinson. His second. The ACC, meanwhile, Maryland has knocked off Florida State. So NC State next against Virginia, and then the doubleheader tonight, Duke, North Carolina, Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, all from Charlotte in the quarterfinals. One more coming for Worley as Wills comes in after Wilkinson's second. Yeah, and Wilkinson was giving them some good things, and I think Bo Ryan thought he had good position. Call made against them. Worley misses the second of two. Back in comes Davis. In the traffic and out of bounds. Made a loss what should have been an easy basket off the penetration for date from Davis. Seventh Badger turnover. Iowa just four for 14 shooting. Seven of 13 by Wisconsin. Leslie back in. Lewis Henderson oh, for the first time. It is called an offensive foul. High elbow. Is what caused it. Lewis Henderson, who had played pretty good for him early, watch the elbow on the inside. High. You can't turn like that without regard for the defender. Duez Henderson gets called for that offensive foul. Third Iowa team foul. 
So far, they've not allowed the foul disparity to become a factor. They forced actually four against Wisconsin. Pull up jumper, Owens. Jared Reiner in for the first time. Here for the rebound, and here comes Leslie. All the way into a block by Wills. Iowa ball out of bounds. They also have over the back foul by Wills. No, they just say he touched it last. No, he touched it last. The officials were taking a quick look to make sure Mater was all right because he went down and got up slowly. Back in Luke Recker. So looking for his first point. Making three, finally taking it. It's a two for Worley. Just barely had a toe on that line. He has six and leads the Hawkeye school. He's been the savior. He has. <laughs> He's not scoring. They have nowhere to go. And under eight minutes, Worley called for the foul. Steve Alford trailing by seven. We come back. We'll look back at their most memorable meeting ever, Alford and Ryan. And when you're talking about the SEC, you're talking about the top conference in the country by the ratings percentage index measurement. That's belonged to the Big Ten the last three years, but mm -hmm. they fell to sixth this year, their lowest since 1995. Well, it also helped that they had, you know, the defending national champion, the team that's gone, a couple teams that have gone to the final four, that you get that and you had players to stay in school. One of the problems is you look at the turnover situation and field goals for today's game that Minnesota actually is going to run into is that low RPI by the conference. Yes, two or three years, nine and seven, no question to ask. That's a tournament team. Probably will be a few questions to ask unless Minnesota can upset Illinois tonight. Wrecker going for the steal and instead call for the foul. This first. Steve Alford, like Bo Ryan, has a Division three background. And 1995, the first time ever two undefeated teams met for the D3 national title. Ryan and Wisconsin Platteville prevailed over Manchester 69-55, including a 31-0 season. Now record gets the steal. Stop and go drive, and a tough finish pass. Charlie Wills, first points for Luke Record. Really was a tough finish. He was under the basket and had to come back with the left hand to get it in play. Still time for Wrecker to salvage a disappointing senior year. Took a big step toward that end yesterday. Offensive. On Kirk Penny, his second. If you're going to punch the ball inside, you better do it strong if you're around Luke Wrecker. You see, he does a good job. Could have got been called for a foul. They didn't call it, but watch how he has to come back left hand in the traffic, able to control and get it in. And then he's back on the other end. They said that uh, he had position. Kirk Penny knocked him down. Luke Wrecker on all plays, being a little more active. Now his teammates have to do a better job of finding him. Leslie found him in the corner, and he's called for steps. And uh, he gets a long look by the officials after slamming the ball down in disgust. In a little bit of a hurry, Steve Alford's trying to keep his group going. What uh, happened with Luke Rector, he slammed the ball down a little bit. It came down hard, but he looked the other way. Had he been looking at the official with the scowl, I think he'd have gotten the team. Well, he convinced him he was just mad at himself, not necessarily at the call, huh? Absolutely. In traffic, Devin Harris. Another turnover by Wisconsin. They're 10th already, and a terrific finish by Chauncey Leslie. Good quicks. Good quicks that time by Leslie. Timeout, Badgers. 6-0 run by the Hawkeyes. have the ball in traffic too many bad things happen Harris gets in there Pierce gets a hand on it Leslie just finds a way to push it up Wills is trying to get back just didn't have enough quicks Harris can't get there in time nice finish 
Championship Week presented by 7-Up continuing today and tonight. New York City, the ConAgra Foods Big East Championship, Pittsburgh, Miami in the first semi tonight, 7 Eastern, followed at 9 by UConn and Notre Dame. And the winners will square off tomorrow at 8 Eastern on ESPN. UConn has been playing pretty well. Karan Butler and Chris Thomas, who's from here in Indianapolis, played at Pike High School, leading that Notre Dame club. Former Indiana Mr. Basketball, Luke Recker. Bringing Iowa back, Wisconsin, three and a half minutes without a basket. Their second round of the first half. And better than four minutes without a hoop early. Six minute mark. They've never trailed. But the lead chop from nine to three. Drive on the baseline and contact. Drawn by Davis against Leslie, his second. Our second Big Ten quarterfinal. Top seed Wisconsin. Four co champions at 11 5. Iowa favored and is no worse than second in the league. They are the ninth seed, but they forced 10 Wisconsin turnovers. They only average a little under 13 turnovers per game, and that's helped Iowa overcome very poor shooting. That's the best in the conference, so that's one of the reasons they're struggling. The other reason is Kirk Penny got two fouls, so he is on the bench. Nice block that time inside by Reiner. Was it ever. Almost flat-footed. So Leslie to slow it down now. It was 18-9 Wisconsin. Iowa didn't get the jet-like start out of the gate that they did yesterday, but slowly fighting their way back into this one. Late in the half. Very short jumper by Reggie Evans, and then in frustration as he goes after the rebound, he commits his first. Well, you know what uh, Iowa's faced with? Steve Alford is and I'm sure he wants to tell Reggie, but you got a senior here. That's not his shot. He's taking a shot 14 feet away from the basket. He's not very good with that shot. Around the basket, he's as good as anybody in the country because if he missed it, misses the shot, he will go get it off the glass. So the Badgers get the bonus. Davis is 65% free throw shooter looking for his first point and has it. Well, this is not Reggie Evans. To step out and take that shot is not a good shot. He knows it, and he was going back to get the rebound, but Davis was quicker to the rebound. Evans fouled it. Lane violation on Wisconsin. Looks like Mater slipped in too early. <laughs> slipped in. Slipped in. You do it when they don't see you. Thundered in? <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Oh, no, it wasn't Mater. That was Will. Yeah, let's, let's put it where it belongs. Yeah, Charlie Will. That was Will. Stop. He's trying. By Pierce. He shuffled the feet, it looked like. Not a clean jump stop. <laughs> no question. Same difference as he misses the shot, though. Davis now got it by Brody Boy. Wills. Turning, missed it off the glass, and the Badgers route without a basket continues. Still up by four. Now over five minutes for Wisconsin since their last score from the team. Wrecker. Foul called on Freddie Owens. Well, look, Wecker does a good job. I want to see if he gets it because he may have gotten a, a little dance. All right, the pivot there. Now actually makes a solid move, just the up and under move, and got fouled, which is good. Gets him to the line. Maybe you get him going a little bit. 88% free throw shooter. Both teams have a bonus now. Worthy will come back and replace Jared Reiner. Record third team all Big Ten. They have named this week third team academic all America. Uh, his degree uh, last semester, about a 3.3 GPA. Neil Plank will see some time here late in the half. All state last year at Mount Zion, Illinois. 6'5 freshman. Plank with Davis Mater 
Harris and Will. Who misses over Worley? Lots of rebounds by the little guys this afternoon. Davis has four for Wisconsin. Boyd pulled that one down. Usually get to that point when you get a good block out. The beams had. Wrecker just off a chance to tie it for Iowa. They have been behind this entire first half. You know, I, I really think at this point, Wisconsin is surviving. Because Kirk Penny is the guy that leads their offense. He's the guy that makes shots, and then he commands so much attention after that. So they're surviving and still able to hold the lead until they can get him back in. And maybe, I, I don't know if you really want to take a chance, but as long as you keep the lead, I think you keep Penny on the bench. Yeah, two fouls as uh, Wills, a focal point of the offense now. Charlie with seven points. The drought was over six minutes. Without a basket for Wisconsin, Wills just put it into it. And Dave Mater called for the foul his first with 322. Oh, Ryan says the uh, best advice he got when he took this Division I job was from his wife. She said, now remember, you're not... A guy whose strong suit is patience. <laughs> but you know what? Faster than he or anybody else could have imagined. He got this, this uh, Wisconsin team to come together after a one and four start. <laughs> to finish 18 and 11. Up by two in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Choices became fairly obvious. Brown, Jeffries, Penny, Taylor, and Williams, especially those last two. The way Taylor and Williams finished their season. They made the selection a little bit easier, and the coaches and media were unanimous. They both picked those five for first team. Well, I can understand it. The guy that's kind of surprising and most people don't think about, Kurt Penny, I think you may have heard about because of his uh, Olympic experience. Brian Brown is a pretty solid player. College basketball player at the uh, guard position for Ohio State. It's the reason Ohio State found themselves in the position that they did this year and with as much success. Knock clock down to 10. Wills a little bit short from three. Big difference with this Wisconsin team, unlike the Dick Bennett years, effective in their own way, but this team has not milked the shot clock the way the Bennett groups did. Great follow up and in by Pierre Pierce. <laughs> It was a good effort by Pierce, but you're right. This team from Wisconsin will push it up and shoot it just a little faster, just a different style. Hawkeye fans being heard as they force their first tie. Wrecker from his bomb dive. Steal ahead, Evans, and foul. No, traveling on Reggie Evans. Yeah, he got, he got a little ahead of himself. Steve Alford wants this group to give effort. The effort is there by Wrecker, who gets the ball, throws it. Go down and get it. Then make a play. Wrecker from his back throws it up to Evans, who couldn't handle it and travel. Effort has been an issue times this year for Iowa, or to be more exact, lack of it. But beginning with the second game against Wisconsin, it hasn't been that much of a problem. That's 12 Wisconsin turnovers now. Even though they lost in Madison, at least uh, that part of the equation started to write itself for Steve Walker. Now, shooting, execution, everything else is coming to, into a, a higher level. This is on uh, Mater, his second. Yeah, effort was what we're talking about. Coming on the left side, you'll see Pierce go up and get that. He's excited, trying to get his fans involved in it as well. But that was, again, good effort on the part of earlier Luke Wrecker, and then you get solid effort on the part of Pierce. And Reggie Evans, first trip to the free throw line. He misses the front end of the one and one. Neil Plank runs that loose ball down, and we're at a minute and a half to go in the first half. 21 21 Iowa Wisconsin quarterfinal. Evan Harris had an early three-pointer, nothing else 
since then. Iowa's been covered up defensively pretty well since then. Wills catches Worley in the middle of the gamble. Made him pay. Mm -hmm. Came high side. Time for Charlie Wills. Down to the last minute at the half. Free run until that bucket by Wills. Record going baseline stepped out. Yeah, he did. Coming up, 7 Up Halftime Report with Bill Pito. And he'll recap what we've seen so far in Indianapolis and from Charlotte in the ACC tournament and Georgia and LSU in the SEC. All moments away, final 40 seconds. Vader swinging down for a little <laughs> post up. In more ways than one, a little post up. Trevon Davis against Boyd. Now Plank, guarded by Rucker. Shot clock at 10. Long three pointer, and Devin Harris nails it. I mean, with a teardrop, too. Had his eye on the clock the entire time. Steve Austin wants to try to make sure they get a good shot with 13 seconds to go here in the first half. Over his last six games, Devin Harris has hit 14 of 24 from our six. Very confident with that one. Leads the team in steals, believe it or not, and blocks. But showing you he has range as well. And minutes as a freshman. Maybe the biggest surprise. This post up. Can we see it inside? Oh, look at the young fella. Post him up. You got game? Let me see if you have game. Yeah, make a good decision. Very nice. <laughs> I was really hoping he was going to take Brody Boyd to the rack. I wanted to see a big man move a drop step and a hook. 5'10 Davis or thereabouts. 5'11 Boyd. Venturing into the land of the Giants, just briefly. Six seconds now, Ryan Hogan in. Three three-point shooter, he's stripped by Davis. Two seconds, Davis is pull up three, no. Nice job of recognizing the play in the clock. Davis able to spurt at the end. Iowa's second lowest first half total all year. 26-21, they trail to Bill Keto. All right, Dave, thank you very much. In, in a deep hole. And in the early seconds of the second half, Wisconsin with a turnover. They are leading 26-21 over Iowa. As uh, this game has been played at a Wisconsin pace. In fact, it's been at a Dick Bennett Wisconsin pace. And that's fine with them because they've held Iowa to 33% shooting. And fewer than half as many points as they scored in the first half of their game with Purdue yesterday. This foul is on Sean Sonderleiter, his first. A little bit of has to do with Steve Alford and Bo Ryan have done a good job in, in coaching their team, and neither of them have a guy that can beat you off the dribble or is a dominant player. The most dominant offensive player is either Luke Wrecker or Kirk Penny. Penny with two fouls in the first half didn't get to play most of the half. Here's Dave Mater. Missed with the hook. Mater had his best career game last time against the Hawkeyes. A couple weeks back, 10 points. Scoreless today. A hand on that one. This is good on this end. The difference for Reggie Evans. 19 and 18 rebounds yesterday. Tying his tournament record. And career high for boards. Mm -hmm. One for four, two points, five rebounds first half. Today. Got a bigger body on it. Mater is a bigger body guarding Evans. Hard for Evans to get over the top. Chauncey Leslie gets the pull up. Chauncey has five. His seventh start today. Breaking a four minute drop by the basket for the Hawkeyes. They're back within three. They're not led. Down by as many as nine in the first half. They briefly tied it at 21. And right back comes Kurt Petty, who has double figures with 10. Penny being guarded by Luke Wrecker. I think you have to say advantage goes to Penny. He's a much better offensive player than Wrecker would be defensively on him. And simply because he's just so much more experienced at it. Wrecker did have 
Four first half steals. Here's a steal for Devin Harris. Good play. Gets it back from Kenny. But see, that's an experienced play. Once they make Luke Record turn his back, then you make him turn it again to see Kenny recover. Kenny recognized and pushed it back. Might be able to follow one pass. Let to follow two. Wrapping the fire like that. Yeah, and get yourself in position to do something about it, too, once you follow it. Now, Wrecker moving well without the ball. Tried to tip in. Now his fifth steal as he strips Mater. Did a good job to stay in after it. Mater's got to be stronger with the ball. Scoring's been a lot tougher for Wrecker today as well. After 25 yesterday, that's just six. I guarantee you, as the Badgers look at tape, what this record did yesterday, they were all saying it. We don't want him to do that against us. Wills with the shooter's touch, and he has 11. Three minutes gone in the second half. Wisconsin extending its lead to seven. As Leslie is fouled before the shot. Javon Davis is second. When you get the ball, you need to be strong with it. If you don't, people let it record. To stay around, come up with a steal. Record trying to involve himself the best way he can there. Coming up with a steal, Coach Bo Ryan has seen enough from his young center, Mayor Mater, trying to have him sit down and have a little conversation. So the redshirt freshman Mike Wilkinson in for Mater. He draws the Reggie Evans assignment as a three-pointer by Recker. At last, the first Iowa three-pointer of the day. No confidence builder after getting that steal. Just want to see it go through. It's a good four, 32 plays. Oh, Penny steps inside oh. the arc, drains the two. There was a screen right on the arc. And Penny just went into the cup, if you will, which is right where the defender can't get to, raised up to knock it out. Pierce pulls up. In and out. And so Wisconsin up by six. I'm loving it. watching Davis go off with the, the punch fits. He goes in there and post up like he expects to get the ball. Like he owns it. Oh. Offensive foul. They hate this ball on the Badger bench because that's three on Penny, and they thought it was a flop. Well, Ryan, first team all-conference junior guard from New Zealand, Kirk Penny, has foul trouble with a long way to go. And a big upset from Atlanta. Here, Wisconsin, the top seed. We'll uh, hope to take on Jared Jeffries in Indiana tomorrow. The cool of the evening for the Hoosiers. They have eliminated Michigan State. They can sit back and scout. Tomorrow's semifinal opponent, which will come out of this matchup. Luke Recker, who just drew Kirk Penny's third foul on that flop. Working it into the corner, over the top of the backboard by Leslie. Let's look at that call that went against Penny a moment ago, his third. Well, Wisconsin needs Penny in the game because he does so many good things. Here it is, and that's not a flop. I mean, that is a flop. I'm sorry. because, And the reason it is is because Wrecker initiated the contact, and then he goes down. And then the call of foul against the other, the offensive player is, in that case, not, a, not the correct call. Well, the same <laughs> guy that called it. Wrecker's way last time, Art McDonald calls this one against Luke for over the back, his second. Luke Wrecker trying to guard in the post. They said he wrapped, and if you get a chance to take a look at it, if you watch his right arm, he is wrapped. And that happens a lot when guys try to come off the top, but they try to find a way to keep the defender from moving, and there's a tendency to put that arm around. Will's clearing out room so Davis can go low, and he's blocked into the two leaders. Watch the right arm of Luke Wrecker as he goes for the ball. It's, it's going to be this arm. Watch it. And watch what he does with it. He goes for the steal, but you see him pulling before he started for the steal, and the official that makes the call is in the back. So that's all he can see is that arm wrapped on the back. Yeah, if he does get a chance at the next level, he's already got some of the NBA tricks now. If you play with, with enough NBA guys, you'll learn the tricks of the trade. Believe me. They even call that one in the NBA. And they call it here, too. 
later rather than sooner, but they did call it. That's Sue on Evans. Four against the team. Steve Alford, whose team lost 11 of 15 after a 12 and 3 start. Fighting all afternoon from behind in this one. Wilkinson, long rebound. Davis. That's at least six rebounds for Devon Davis, right at a half dozen. He's their leading rebounder. How do you figure that? Well, one of the things that happens, they got a category called team rebound. Wills and Worley, and finally tied up by Wilkinson. Possession arrow the other way. And that's when the ball gets touched and tossed by a bunch of people. Davis, because he's so quick, ends up getting those. Look, you watch, coming from the right side, he sees the trajectory, you put it down, he's already, he's closer to the ground. We have not decided exactly how much closer, 5-7, five, 5-5 five, five going in the wrong direction. <laughs> but he is closer to the ground than anyone else, so he's quicker to it. Rody Boyd back in for the Hawkeyes. Ooh. Step back, three-pointer record. Got wide open on that shot. Because Freddie Owens was picked off. One thing he has in common with Kirk Penny, no wasted movement. When they're going offensively, really something to behold. That's a three by Wills. He comes right back with his second of the day. Keeping the pressure on. 15 points for Charlie Wills, senior Angola, Indiana. And Wisconsin 6 of 10 beyond the arc. up by six pass into traffic Evans tangled up with Wilkinson and that's Mike Stewart you're out just playing a solid game you need to know where you want to get to Luke record does the screen was solid he was the man being guarded Freddie Owens didn't get out there in time Wrecker ready to go one-on-one -on -one with Owens. Stolen by Wilkinson. Just the second after his third foul. He comes up with the takeaway. 37-31 Wisconsin. Can't have him be trips if you're Iowa. You need to get some momentum. So you got to start getting some something positive out of these trips. Seven minutes gone now in the second half. Can't fall down. Worthy. Oh, you're skin. Well, Worley lost his footing, just suckered Wills into an air ball. <laughs> Wills has made three pointers, two of them in the game. He gets a wide open look. Norman makes that shot. Reggie Evans still only two points, 14 below his average. One for four. He's been just erased from the Iowa game plan today. Double team, gives it back. Worley, tough shot in contact. Inside, the reason Reggie Evans has been virtually erased or is Wisconsin just comes at him with two of their players. If it's Wills and Wilkinson, Wilkinson, or if it's Mater, or in whomever, they just come at him. Watch, he gets the ball. Wilkinson has him baseline. Wills comes and gets him. That's why Worley ends up open. Worley makes the foul shot after he got fouled. And the contest came, I believe it was on Will. Mater back into the lineup for Wilkinson. So the old tag team going on. 6'10 and 6'8 coming at you. Average is 6'9 coming at Evans. Puts a lot of pressure. Four to six free throws for Glenn Worley. Sophomore from Iowa City has 10 points. And 37-33, Wisconsin driving reverse short by Davis. Brody Boyd pushing it up for the Hawkeyes. Down four, 12-20 to go. Straight on three, nailed it, one-point game. He made a very nice move to dribble it up on the left and dribble as though he was coming back to his right to give it to Luke Record and just drill that three. Just Iowa's third. Not there for Owens. And the Hawkeyes have a chance for their first lead. Duez Henderson caught in midair and knocked into the photographers. No, they call a foul on Mater. Mater would, right. it didn't give him position to come down. They call a foul on Mater. Mater now with three. Brody Boyd.
Floyd with a three-pointer to cut the margin to one for the Badgers. 11-57 remaining, 37-36 Wisconsin. Marty Music, uh, more than earning his keep with uh, <laughs> the face-to-face uh, -face encounter a minute ago with Duez Henderson. I don't know if face-to-face, well, face 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 what you want to call sure it. Sure wasn't. But Monte got a little, he got <laughs> just a little bit. You ba hey, there he is, hanging in strong, just like I knew you would, Marty. Way to go, babe. Henderson, a long time before he spots Evans for the inbounds pass. Another chance for Iowa to take its first lead. And Iowa really has not played that well, so I, this is a great credit to them. Credit mainly the bench. They've outscored the Badger subs 13 to 2. Worley has 10 of those Iowa 13. Boyd a moment ago had the other three. Now Henderson turning on Penny, who's back in and traveling. Well, that's what I, I was wondering if Iowa would try to exploit Penny. Duez Henderson tried to do it, and there was a collision, and Duez Henderson couldn't get his balance. So Bo Ryan placing the trust in Kirk Penny not to pick up his fourth foul was better than 11 minutes still to go in the game. Although, no doubt, he'd still argue that he didn't pick up his third. They just called it. And that's all that matters, as you well know. Lift <laughs> a little suspect and sent Penny to the bench. And the shot clock at 10. Davis for three. Boyd there for the rebound. And another chance for Iowa to go up. Yeah, Boyd's giving him a good lift. Evans. Iowa with his first lead of the day. Got it down on the post to Evans, who just went through Mater to get it down. And Evans' first field goal since 11.06 remained in the first half. So a little over 20 minutes on the clock went by between baskets for Reggie Evans. But he puts him up 38-37. Penny. Picked up by Henderson. Again, got the shot clock at 10. Harris. Well anticipated steal. Now a foot race Boyd and Harris. And Brody Boyd crumpled in a heap. Well, they call a foul, I believe, on Davis, who got there before Harris thought he got there. Now they say Harris is first. Harris. What they said. Nice defense on the part of Brody Boyd. Again, Roland Boyd takes the ball to the basket as he was going. I thought Davis got to him first because Fisher said Harris came across the back. Not many guys can get to March and say they're perfect from the free throw line. He's what? He was perfect from the free throw line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> well, six for six. Limited opportunities. <laughs> Shooting three pointers does that. Seven out of eight. Iowa by two. Boyd, third leading scorer in the history of Indiana high school basketball. Kirk Penny with the fake getting around Henderson and then over the back foul, Evans, who tried to get inside of Charlie Wills. That's now three fouls on Reggie Evans. He's the first Hawkeye with three. Speaking of high school scores, Alfred on that list, and not too far down, his record. Fall away by Penny. I bet he's the all-time leading scorer in Auckland, New Zealand high school history. Well, I would think so. Iowa fans don't like the fact that out of nowhere, they thought they had the ball and ended up going off. It looked like the, the hands of, I, I actually thought it was the hands of Wilkerson. Badgers have gone cold now. They've missed eight of their last nine shots. Harris finishes a nice drive. And he's shaking. Luke record. And for Devin Harris. Wisconsin's high school player of the year. Last year from Milwaukee. Wauwatosa East High School. Air ball on the drive by board. Davis ready to go one on the team and fouled by Henderson. 
defense is going to be the name that you want to hear as your coach, particularly as you get later in the game. Watch the crossover to get Luke Wrecker out of position by freshman Devin Harris to get it to go off the glass. Nice move by the young fellow. Ankle breaker. A minute ago, Javon Davis ready to take on the entire Iowa transition defense. And foul by Henderson. Davis has got only two points today, but seven rebounds. First year starter backed up Mike Kelly the last three years. Me and Mike Kelly still good friends. They talk periodically, but you can see Davis plays with the senior kind of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> he was paying attention all those years behind Kelly. And Will's senior co-captain, Will's. With the takeaway, 14th Iowa turnover, Penny for three. And that's one way to run a fast break. Penny stayed under control. Got to the three-point line, knocked it down. 15 for Kirk Penny, timeout, Hawkeyes. 8.59 remaining. And after the defense turned in by Wills, Penny has the offense to put the Badgers up five. They are dancing in the aisles of Conseco Fieldhouse after a 7-0 run by the Badgers. Sunday night, 8 Eastern. ESPN's presentation of a season on the brink. Your discretion is strongly advised. ESPN and ESPN2 present two airings unedited on ESPN, edited with reduced audible adult language on ESPN2, part of the block on ESPN. Not sure how you get a sweater. All we know is we don't have one yet. Old Roll fans hope that it possibly does. There's a foul on Harris, his second. And uh, team foul number seven now on Wisconsin. So Iowa has the bonus nearly nine minutes to go. They took their first lead of the game at 39-37 and now have surrendered seven straight points as Wrecker, two for two for the day. Steps to the stripe. Now three for three. The great way to break a run on the team is to get yourself to the foul line. Record able to do that. It may get him going a little bit more offensively. Not doing bad, not as well as yesterday, but he's got 13 on, on nine shots. That's still pretty good. So a three-point game. Wilkinson has come back in place of Mayer. Penning with three fouls. Guarded by Duez Henderson. Cut off nicely up fake. Now Tremont Davis driving. <laughs> Looked like he was going back in the same direction. The shot clock is at five. Hands it back for a Penny three-pointer. Wide left. And oh, that ball hit the rim, didn't it? They say it didn't, but it just grazed the left side of the rim, but all three officials agreed that not only that, Bo Ryan is not complaining, so it must not have. I thought it grazed the side of the rim. No, not that wasn't even close. It's bad eyes, Kim. Well, we hit eight minutes. And the closest game yet in the tournament, game yesterday decided by an average margin of 17 points. Indiana won first quarter final of the day by 11 over Michigan State. But this one apparently headed down to the wire. You know, I think the games from now on are going to be close game. Record after the foul line, making those shots, feeling good about his rhythm, drills a three. Has he repaired all the damage from his indifferent senior season last two days, you think? No, but he's, he's on a good start, I'll tell you that. Wilkinson run down by Davis again. That's how he's gotten most of his rebounds. He just whoops it worse than everybody else. He is quicker to it. Got that one and threw it off the island. 7.22 to go. Timeout in a tie game thanks to Luke Records. Third three-pointer. All here in the second half. 44 all. Sold out. 18,996. 
the attendance today from Seco Fieldhouse for the quarterfinal round of the Big Ten Tournament, which has seen Indiana move past Michigan State. Doubleheader matchup tonight. Ohio State, the second seed against Michigan. Third seed, Illinois, against Minnesota. Top four seeds all tied for the regular season title at 11-5 this year. Michigan playing Ohio State. Like Iowa, I think those two teams played the best game that they've played in probably probably the last eight or ten games. So it was good to see. Iowa's had streaks here today where they've played well, but they haven't been able to maintain it on both sides. But you got to give some credit to the fact that Wisconsin is pretty good as well. You don't just tie for the conference championship without being capable. <laughs> Red by Henderson. Duez in front of Petty for the steal and that's 18 Badger turnover. The average less than 13. Seven minutes to go, tied at 44. Back door, they hit it right back. Wilkinson. It's 15. Hawkeye turnover. Freddie Owens. And now Davis. Eight rebounds for Trevon Davis. Oh. Two off his career high. What a setup for Will. Nice job. He's able to get a little pirouette in the paint. Freed up because Will's man, Worley, had to come get it. Charlie in his 127th career game today. If they win tomorrow, he sets or ties the school record of 128. Set by the trio of Mark Bershaw, Andy Kowski, and Mike Kelly. The main uh, part of that Final Four team they had a couple of years ago. Reggie Evans, Reggie Evans has his fourth foul. Watch Trevon Davis. Once he spins, Worley has to come. You see him come. This is Worley's man. Record gets there. Doesn't have the size to get the wheels and puts it down. On the other end, Reggie Evans got called trying to get position offensively. They call him uh, for clearing out. Both teams have the bonus. Here's number four on Reggie. Right there, you can take a look. You can see he threw that hip. Oh, no, they call the second one where he got his arms up. And I thought he just got it up. Wilkerson got in his way. He just made sure Wilkerson got out of the way. No, that's the problem. I'm only teasing, David. Out goes Evans. In comes Worley. And then comes Henderson. Henderson better on the defensive end. Pierre can create a little bit more on, in terms of shots because what they have is they're two better three-point shooters in. They don't have Hogan, but they got Brody Boyd and Luke Wrecker, and they're hoping to get one or both free. They'll tangle off the ball between Owens and Whirling. Let me, let, me see, let me try this one. Luke Wrecker. They call this foul against Owens. But it's Luke Wrecker. You know, what, what has happened is, you talk about the front end. Luke Wrecker has figured out, if you get close enough to me, I can bring your arms into me. Now watch, he goes here. And Luke has got him locked. And the official is saying that Owens had, had Luke got locked. I'm telling you, he's, he's got all the tricks already. Got the tricks. After a very slow start, four points in the first half, five steals to tie his career high, and six of six from the free throw line, 19 points now, Iowa within two. Wills and Davis this year will be the first Badgers to play in four NCAA tournaments. They are starting to call it much tighter. There's no doubt about it. Pierre Pierce. Pierre Pierce. Trying to stop the post-up position that time with Kirk Pennant. First on Pierce. Kirk Pennant's first free throw coming. I don't see a whole lot of foul right there. <laughs> they didn't I feel like friends to disagree, but you know, you're right. They didn't ask us. It's tough enough for them to call this game with the quickness of some of these players. Manning hits them both. And the Badgers back up four. 
17 for Kurt Finnick. Wrecker without much help from Reggie Evans. Unlike yesterday, didn't need any help on that drive. Left-handed finish, 21 points for Wrecker. you can do is sit and watch. Yeah, just hope his team just, just stays in it. Another nice steal by Brody Boy. A couple times he's read the pass perfectly. A hot hand gets the ball again. Record. Set up. Open three. Not there for Boyd this time. And Wills had position on Worley. That's because without Evans in the game, you have little chance to come up with offensive rebounds. If Evans is not in normally, I mean, if he's in, he takes up at least the space. A little dribbly show for a second there by Dave. <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> Just trying to get control of it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And he has two. Look off. He looked him off and drilled it. A long two and 19 now for Kirk Penn. His best stretch. 27 in the second half this year at Minnesota. Good call. He traveled. There's no doubt about it. One official was going to call a foul, but there's no question that uh, it was all his travel, but he made a mistake because he was on a three-on-one. That's what yeah, Bo Ryan is disappointed about. This is a three-on-one. This is a three-on-one play. He's got two guys. Watch. One, two, three, and he still hasn't shot it, and he was hoping for a foul. Well, they get nothing out of the transition opportunity. Lead remains four, 52-48. Oh, let's look at this lineup Iowa has in. Okay, Luke Rector's not on the floor, so who's going to score the ball? Well, they try to get it underneath Jared Reiner, who sees his first action in the second half. Well, Luke got tired, and they had to stay. He's standing next to Coach Alford. But with him on, not in the game, they don't have anywhere to go for an offense. Hogan's coming in for Rector, but Rector's coming right back in. So is Evans. <laughs> And the foul away from the ball. Davis. Steve Alford's not wasting any time. He's coming in with all of his guns, including Duez Henderson. Hopefully he can stop on the defensive end. Ryan Hogan just picked up the foul. And goes right back to the bench of the young Ryder and Pierce. What do I got? It's really hard when a coach has to take an Evans or a wrecker out, it gets hard on the group that has to play without them because it's hard for them to get into a rhythm to figure out who do I throw the ball to in terms of scoring so they don't know where their, their real focus is. And all coaches want you to do is just get it to the open man, and once you do that, go get somebody open. Evan Harris has 12. Big baskets. Supplied all year long by Kurt Penny. They'll probably need more where this one came from in the last three minutes and 42 seconds of a six-point game. 342 to go. Wisconsin by six. Iowa came into this tournament the same as last year, knowing that for them to have any NCAA hopes, they have to win the whole thing. Now, if they don't, look for them in the NIT. But after as good as they looked yesterday, they hope to carry that over, and they really have it. I think credit Wisconsin's defense. I really do. I think Wisconsin's defense has been solid, and it's put a lot more pressure on both Wrecker and particularly Evans down in the post. And the inability to get it to Evans in the post means Wrecker doesn't get as many free looks. Wrecker, another three, and that's four all in the second half. Nice job of pushing himself off of his man to get free. You're sure he's not erasing all the bad memories of the senior year? I'm no, telling you. He's, he's made headway, though. I, I didn't say that he did. Yes, I did say he did. He's made headway. 20 points, second half. 24 for the game. 25 for him yesterday. Harris <laughs> left alone, not quite. See, because the question that you're asking is the question about consistency. Is this kind of a two or three game kind of circumstance or what is the consistent play? That's what people are trying to figure out. Well, better late than never as far as Steve Offer is concerned. Been all year trying to unlock 
the potential of Riker and Evans. Now, Evans, on the other hand, just four points, and that would be a season-low offensive performance for him if he doesn't get any more. Riker possessed. Nobody can stop him. Well, you know what? Luke Riker knows, that the, in, in terms of his NCAA hope, this is it. If you don't get it done now, it won't get done. Well, he may just get it done, and he may have to do it by himself. No other Hawkeye has more than four points this half. He has 22. 26 for the game now. Will stripped, knocked out of bounds by Boyd. Brecker does a good job. Actually, he was, it wasn't his own man. It was Harris he pushed off, but he got the three. Here's the one where he's really possessed. Nice shot, clearing it out. Record goes to the left, knocks it down, team down one. I'm out called by Steve Alford. They've cut it back to one. They ended last season on a very poor note, and without Wrecker and Hogan, both out with knee injuries, they somehow swept four and four days to win this tournament this year. Similar circumstances coming in, and last year they won over Indiana by two in the championship game. Brody Boyd, 22 points to help make up for the absence of Wrecker and Hogan. Coverdale playing well for uh, Indiana, but the last gasp try by Kirk Haston comes up short. And uh, Iowa, a shocking winner of the 2001 Big Ten tournament. Wrecker has scored the last 14 consecutive Iowa points. Shot clock down to three, and they're going to bail him out. Wrecker may get a technical here. Punches at the ball after the foul called on him. I'm shocked that they don't call him yeah, they, for the technical. They let him go the first time. They, the official is saying it's an emotional game. It's my choice. Record a little disappointed and hammered the ball with his fist to the ground. Did something similar in the first half. Got away with it. That's why it's surprising they didn't call it this time. Because normally at any level, they may give you one temper outburst if you're lucky. A lot of times they don't even give you one. Record gets called for the foul, and right in front of the official, he just hammers the ball. They choose to let it go. Double bonus now. 11 of 12 free throw shooting, helping out Wisconsin. 4-4 four, four for Harris, and they head to the final two minutes with a three-point lead. We'll keep an eye and see how Harris guards Luke Record, who you know is going to try to make a last-ditch effort to help this club. Wilkinson over to double, almost takes it out of his hands. Still Iowa ball. Bo Ryan a minute ago in disbelief that they didn't tee up record. <laughs> I'll say. You'll say what? <laughs> I'll say that McDonald and the Hartsell and Rhoda Heffer decided apparently they didn't want to decide this game. <laughs> I understand that. Five to shoot. Rhody Boyd short. Rebound by Travon Davis again. Shooting the ball well from the foul line. Nine, Nine rebounds for Davis. Davis is rolling. Young fella, he is getting it done. See, I always said this to little people, young folks, who say that I'm too small. You're not. But there's always an opportunity to ball. The ball's got to come down sometime. Just get there first. Ten on the shot clock for Trevon Davis. Driving past Brody oh. Boyd, blocked partially by Worley. And here, with a minute to go, comes Iowa, trailing by three. Timeout, that's their next to last. And they have 56 seconds to work with, trailing 56-53. Plenty of time. Davis tries to get to the basket, not going to get there clearly. Worley gets a hand on the pass. I'm sorry, on the shot. He thought he had it clear. But this is a good timeout because record was open on the left side. As you can, Before we get to that, you can see the ACC Championship quarterfinals going on today. And in Charlotte, Maryland has eliminated Florida State right now on ESPN. It's NC State, Virginia. Getting a 7 Eastern tonight here on ESPN2. Duke, Carolina, followed by Wake Forest, Georgia Tech in the final Sunday, 1 Eastern. Pete Gillen trying to get his group going. 
Virginia as Herb Sendak got the Wolfpack moving in the right direction. Four fives, always interesting contest. It's the only close game the first two days of the Big Ten tournament. Played for the first time at Conseco Fieldhouse, jammed today with almost 19,000. They have seen Indiana eliminate Michigan State, and this one head to the final minute. 56-53 for top-seeded Wisconsin. Only one more Iowa timeout. Badgers still have three. They also have the possession arrow and the double bonus. 19,000 in an right. intimate environment. Yeah, you, you scouted this place very well. You, you can't have better seats and have this many seats. Okay. That's what I like about it. Wrecker, 14 consecutive Iowa points. I, got, I don't care what Evans does. I'm looking to get that back. Evans, no. Follow it up. Count it. And Iowa can tie it with a three-point play by Henderson. Graham Holt's first points of the day, Quinn. Could they have come at a better time? Not at all. Evans steps through. No question about contact on the backside. Wills tries to get there. Henderson gets it to go. Got away, if you will. Evans got an extra step. But at any rate, his club is about to get to a tie ball game should this one go down. 56 all. Bo Ryan says, play on. He's going to call it a timeout. Yeah, call. He just wanted to get the ball across half court. 34.2 seconds. Two more timeouts for Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin, even if they lose today at 18 and 12, Got to consider a shoe in as co-champs. Indiana, likewise. Illinois, Ohio State. All four of the co-champs in Michigan State have to be considered NCAA locks. And now tonight, Minnesota can uh, perhaps join that number by uh, knocking off an Illinois team they thought they had beaten last weekend. Let them get away literally in the final seconds. But now, with 34 seconds to go, 28 on the shot clock. For Wisconsin, you know they'll look first for Penny, but you also know that Iowa will look first to deny Kurt Penny. Well, but they they got all the options because their class has had some some experience. As you take a look at the reset, they they can look at Wills to make a play, and you got a senior with the ball in Trevon Davis. You're willing to take a chance on him making the decision on the fly, the best decision on the fly. So I think that if you look at this, Wisconsin is in pretty good shape. But I'll tell you the other guy that's not afraid. Devin Harris does not play like a freshman. I mean, you don't even think about that. But I like Kirk Penny. I'm running it through Penny, and then from there, I, you kind of play off of him. I was trailed for all but a minute and seven seconds today. 56 all. And Trevon Davis... Will set him up with 27 seconds now. Guarded very loosely by Brody Boyd. And on the left side, they've got Wills and Penny to work the action. They'll go high screen and roll with Davis and Penny. Eight on the shot clock. Hand back Harris, crowded. Trying to get it underneath to Wilkinson. Stolen Henderson. Yep. Timeout, six and a half seconds. Good defensive play by Ohio. Last Iowa timeout after the 21st Wisconsin turnover. Most they've had it again this year. He's a scramble for the ball. Duess Henderson has been on the spot like he was when he got the putback and the foul. On the spot there, Davis went up and tried to make a pass at the end. Nowhere to go. You got a lot of options here, but the one option that you want to take away if you're Iowa is you do not allow that to, there to be a rebound. This one, you don't care the, whether there's a rebound or not. You get the last shot and let the horn go off. This is going to make sure to make sure how much time should be left on the clock. And I think they may put a second and a half, two seconds back up here. Yeah, I would think it's closer to eight. I'm sorry, closer to 10 than it is to eight. No, it's closer to, I thought it was eight and a half. It ended up at seven. All right, when is the control and the timeout? 
All right, they've got the ball right away. Wreckers calling timeout, but what is it recognize? That's the question. Yeah, they put two seconds back, and it's eight and a half seconds. Iowa must get it in. They don't have a timeout. Luke Wrecker has been unstoppable, unguardable, 14 consecutive points down the stretch, and 26 for the game, 22 in the second half. So even though Wisconsin knows that's the first place Iowa will look, they've known that throughout the second half. They've not been able to do a thing about it. Among those eight field goals, four have been threes all here in the second half. So after a very slow start, Rucker has taken over the offense in the second half. Now, can he win it? Did, what was your question you kept asking me? Well, we'll get an answer right here. Record he to this. Up. He'll erase everything that happened this year. Pulls up from 15. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes this one, he'll erase everything that happened this year. They got a second and a half. Of the last. 19 points Iowa has in this game. Wrecker has 16 of them, and this one may just put him into the semifinal. Uh, right here against Harris. Nice job. Just raises up and just knocks it down. Does a good job. The main thing you have to do is be able to create space. He does and has size. Just hits it on the back of the rim. It goes right through. Boy. Been a heck of a, yeah. All the doubts all year. Tough to remember any of them right now. The way he's played the last two days. Yeah, at this point, Steve Alford has got a little premature celebration, but he has to be pleased. Much rather be in this position than that of Wisconsin having to go the length in 1.4 seconds. One timeout still on the board for Wisconsin, but the point is they've got 90 feet and 1.4 seconds to travel. Wills to inbound, guarded by Worley. Throws to oh, the right. and it's over. Leslie got the steal. Iowa gets the win. How about that? They struggle the whole game and find a way. Luke Wrecker, he raced a lot of demons with that one. There is just something about Iowa in the Big Ten tournament. They win their sixth straight tournament game over the last two years. They've won only three in the regular season in February and March combined the last two years, and there was a mix-up on that inbounds pass. Davis went one way, the ball went right to Leslie, and the Hawkeyes head to the locker room celebrating another trip to the semifinals of the Big Ten Tournament. will play Indiana in a rematch of last year's championship game. Tonight's winners, Ohio State, Michigan, Illinois, Minnesota, will play in the other semifinal. Heart-stopping finish in this quarterfinal matchup. Iowa wins it 58-56 over the top seed. Next up, real classics behind the scenes of the season on the brink. For Quinn Buckner, Dave Barnett, so long from Indianapolis.